everyone so I wanted to come at you today with a quick haul um I just have a few things from like Sally CVS Walgreens Walmart and an order from KB Shimmer which I am super excited about so let's go ahead and get started um I'll show you the one makeup item that I bought I picked this up from Walmart and this is the hard candy um Top Trend Setting Eyeshadow Collection, and this is a birthday suit, and this is, what caught my eye is that this is all matte. All these colors are matte. Um, I don't have it on today, but I've been wearing this, and I really like it. So, yeah, and this was only $6. I want to get the ones that were like the Too Faced palettes, but I have, um... The one that I wanted was in the gold metal container, but I actually have the Too Faced palette that is the dupe for that, so I was like, should I even waste my $8 on that, or should I just get this and save it? So I decided to get this. Okay, and then now for the nail polish, start with the boring stuff first. So I had a... CVS coupon and it was like a two dollar coupon and it was expiring soon so I had to spend it so I bought two of the wet n wild polishes and this one is in yo soy and this one is in tickled pink and I actually think I have tickled pink in the old bottle so oops but they were free so you can't complain too much on that right right okay um let's see I picked up one of these. I know I have another one that I picked up, but I can't find it. I don't know, like, sometimes, like, when I just have my nail polish sitting out, people come in here and use it or take it upstairs to paint their nails with. So I got this nail art one, and this is a nail art neon. These do not have um, the skinny striping brush. It is just a regular brush, but this is a neon polish, but actually it's a purple shimmer polish, so that was kind of cool. And then I picked up this um, triple shine polish, and this one is called In Sparks Fly. It's just a blue and silver glitter and a blue jelly base. And, oh, so I picked this up, and this is Wet n Wild. This is Green Teas, and I think this is from their Silver Lakes collection. And this is just a cream, really mint green color. And I don't think that I have a mint green quite like this. Even when I look on my shelf up here, yeah. And this, I this is not like for Audrey. This that's more blue. And I don't think this is like mint candy apple from Essie which I have all the way over there on my bookshelf, so I can't look right now. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's what this one looks like. And this one is like a two-coater, so it's not too bad. And then I went to fly, fly below, Five Below a while ago. I haven't used this yet. Um, but this is called Pep Rally. And do you see these neon glitters? They're matte neon glitter. And there is bar glitter, mini hexi glitter, and then that big chunky glitter. So this will be exciting to use, especially now that it's summertime. Yeah, now that it's summertime. Neons are totally awesome, right? They're supposed to make you look tan, right? I'm very far from tan. So. <laughs> okay, now the stuff that I got from Sally's. So let's go ahead and start with this finger paints um this is just a pink kind of holographic glitter and this is called in the city looking pretty yeah so I used this and it's very very sparkly of course so this is awesome now I picked these two up when they're having extra 50% off and they included that on the OPI so I picked up this OPI, it's kind of like a brown to burgundy um, shift, and it's called Mirror, Mirror on the Wall, M-U-I-R. So, yes, that's what that looks like. 
Now, the next three came in a set. I went to Sally's the other day because I um, redid my card. I paid to update my card, you know what I'm saying? Where you pay the $5. But the catch was is that I updated it before I needed to, so I only paid $2. They still gave me the $5 coupon and the free Ion product, which was just a spray leave-in conditioner that I have over there that I forgot. But yeah, it's a spray leave-in conditioner, and um, they gave me a $5 coupon. So I went in the other day, and I picked this China Glaze set. This was a Christmas set, yes, and it was marked down to $3.99. This was the Christmas set that came with the mirror, okay? And it came with these three polishes. They're not really Christmas colors. I mean, it's a gray, a red, and a chunky white glitter. That doesn't scream super Christmassy. So, the gray is called Out Like a Light. So, it's just a cream gray color, which is awesome. The red, where I think this is more... This isn't as bright of a red. So, this one is called Tip Your Hat. And then, I got this white chunky glitter one and this is called chillin with my snow me's so I literally got these three plus a little china glaze mirror for um, $3.99 and then of course I needed like five dollars so I got this is gonna be hard for me to show you I got this little lambre earring or is that how you say it it's for like those piercings that go right here but I like the flat back so like when I'm using headphones I can stick it inside of my ear because since I have this piercing right here if there's another ball on the back side it kind of hurts my ear to put headphones in so I got that for $1.99 and it's surgical steel and it's in gold and then I needed one more thing to make it five dollars so I picked up this itty bitty Sally's Girl polish and they are kind of stepping up their game, or at least I have noticed that the Sally Girl polishes aren't as boring as they used to have been. Now, considering this is only like 4 milliliters, and this is really chunky glitter, I don't know how that's going to work out, but I figured that would be a little interesting. And, I mean, literally, I got these three polishes, the mirror, this, and my earring for 99 cents <coughs> excuse me so yeah this is called no way so if you're interested in that now on to the fun stuff oh KB shimmer okay so I picked these up over Memorial Day because they were having a sale and I was just like I really want some awesome holographic nail polishes. I mean, I have some. I have like um, the Color Club and I have some of the, how do you say it, in FUO or whatever, the kind with the like the corset lid. And I just really want to try these. So, first one that I picked is this awesome, awesome gold. And now that I'm sitting here, I'm. Let's compare these. So this is a Funky Fingers. Yeah. This one is way more holographic where this one is looks like a holographic glitter. Because, yeah. I just wanted to compare to make sure. And this is part of their summer collection. And this is called Sun and Games. And I actually sandwiched this between gel. So I used my gel base coat. I painted two coats of this on and I let it dry for like two hours to make sure it was completely dry because if you encapsulate nail polish into gel nail polish and it's not dry, it will not turn out pretty and it will still smudge because the in-between layer is wet. So if you want to, you can totally sandwich your um, nail polishes between gel, but just make sure that you let your regular nail polish dry and what was awesome is that the gel top coat that I put over this made this so shiny and holographic so yes I would suggest trying that if you are into gel 
and I just want to test it out because I'm going out of town and I want to have sparkly nails for like a week so yeah okay now the next one which is awesome this one is called alloy like alloy matey and this is part of their summer collection too and it's a silver holographic kind of glitter but you put it on your nail and it it covers mostly in two coats so you don't really need to apply a base color for either of these two now for the last one I really wanted a nude holographic polish um, I don't really know why I just I just wanted one and when you're not in the Sun this looks like a nude polish but when you're in that perfect light you can see the holographicness and this is so amazing so this is called in bare form so I paid $20 for three of these which I mean technically it's not a great of a deal as that I would normally pick up but these aren't drugstore polishes so it's all right with me um and then let me go ahead and show you a few things that I got from the born pretty store be right back so from the born pretty store I did another you know you spend your points and get stuff um, so I got two new plates I have not used this one yet and this one is BPL 012 and sorry you can see the reflection of my camera but it has stars crosses mustaches XO's this is whatever but I really wanted it for these glasses right here so yes and then I picked this one up which I actually used yesterday I used this design as you can see I didn't make a video but I am gonna post these on Instagram um, so yeah and this is let me hold it right ways up BPL 009 and this one just appealed to me because it had kind of lines and uh, different shapes because I kind of like the, the shape thing more compared to the abstract kind of, um, let me see, let me see if I can show you. <laughs> so this plate that everybody really wanted, I kind of like this one better just because the designs are more set in stone, although you can be way creative with this. So it's really up to you. And if any of you know a good way of storing the long skinny plates let me know because I have a lot now and I plan to get more obviously <laughs> um, but yeah I just have these setting out because I don't have an actual place to put them or a little book or anything so if you guys have any ideas let me know so that is my haul and I hope you guys like the video and thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time thanks bye